Hey everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, we are going to see about how we can create the custom fishlet for Google and Gmail. Okay, so in first part of the video, I'm going to show you the demonstration and in the second part of the video, we are going to get into the details of the fishlet. So without wasting time, let's get started. So before starting, here is a quick disclaimer. This video and this course is only for educational and research purpose only. Don't misuse this knowledge. If you are going to misuse this knowledge, then I will be not responsible for your actions or whatever the counter action which will be taken by the corresponding authorities or government. So check your legal boundaries, stay in your legal boundaries and practice in your control environment. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, here is my terminal and in my terminal, I have two servers open in the first server here. I will running the capture the credentials service. Okay. And on the second terminal right here, I will be running the Avalgenics. So let's do one thing. Let's run the capture service on the first terminal. So let me activate my virtual environment. Let's run the capture service. Now the service is live. Okay. Let's go to the second server and let's start the Avalgenics. Now, in the Avalgenics, I have the Google fishlet ready and it's enabled. And the hostname is also set for that particular fishlet. Only thing is we need to check the URL for the phishing and we need to start using it. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's go loads and here I'll say get dash URL and ID number two because the ID number two is the URL for the Google fishlet. So let me just copy that particular URL and here what I'm going to use is I'm going to use Chrome's uh, guest mode browser. Okay, right here. So let me paste my link and it should open the Google's phishing site. Okay. So now we can see site uh, or you can say Google site, but the site is loaded on my domain, which is opentfcloud.com, right? But it looks exactly same as the Google. Okay. So let's do one thing. Let's click on the sign in and it should load the sign in page for us. So let's give a time and we have the signing page right here. Now, here is the demonstration email that I have created for specially for the demonstration that I'm going to use in this particular test. So let me enter my email and here I'll say, uh, let's say something like this. Okay. So this is my email. So let me click on the next, then it should ask me the password field. So let me quickly grab my password, which I have created. And once I paste that particular password, I should be ready to go. So let me click on the next and it should log me into the Google without any issue. So let's give some time and let's see what happens. Okay, so we are right now logged inside the Google and as you can see, it is saying opentfcloud.com right here and I can see F icon right here. So I am logged in inside whatever the Gmail account I am using. Okay. And once we minimize, we have the evil Genic server here, but the interesting part is we need to check where the credentials are captured. Okay. So let me go to the capture service and we saw the request right here. So either you can check the credentials right here also, or what you can do is control C. And then if you do LS, then you should find file called create.txt. And if I cat that particular file, it should give you the credential for the account, uh, to which the username and password has been captured. Okay. So yeah, this is how the fishlet works and this is two server setup where in one server we run the capturing service and in the second server we run the let's say evilgenic service for proxying the website, right? So yeah. So let's say after watching this particular video, now you want to create custom fishlet for any website and you want to learn that. Then what you can do is you can click link in the description where I'll be providing the video series completely on this particular topic, where I'll be providing the topics from the basic level to the advanced layer until you create advanced level fishlets. Not only that, 
Once we cover all of that, then I am providing a topic such as setting up like local lab for your own testing using the Evil Genix and tips and tricks that I have learned so far about the Evil Genix that too for free. And once you complete the course, then I'll be providing additional support where if you have any question related to the Evil Genix fishlet or custom fishlet, you can connect me over the YouTube live or Telegram group or Telegram personal account where I'll be providing the questions or let's say answers to your questions, right? And still, if you don't feel like you are getting the answer, then you can join my community where people will also help you to find the answers, right? So everything is giving in this particular course. So why you are waiting? And apart from this particular course, you will get free access to Evilginix Telegram plugin and Google's Fishlet setup. So don't waste your time. Click the link in the description. Check out the course. And thanks for watching and see you in the next.